Pieces of Bajra or Pearl Millet, P E N N I S E T U M T Y P H O I D E S. Downy Mildew or Green Air Sclerospora Graminicola. Economic importance it occurs in many parts of Africa, as well as in India, where it was first reported by Butler in 1907. Disease is severe in ill-drained and low-lying areas. Losses due to the disease may be as high as 30 to 45 percent in the high-yielding varieties. The disease occurred in epidemic form in 1970 and 1983 devastating the popular hybrids, with HB3 and BJ104. Symptoms infection is mainly systemic and symptoms appear on the leaves and the airhead. The first symptoms can appear in seedlings at 3 to 4 leaf stage. The affected leaves show patches of light green to light yellow color on the upper surface of leaves and the corresponding lower surface bears white downy growth of the fungus. The downy growth seen on infected leaves consist of sporangiophores and sporangia. The yellow discoloration often turns to streaks along veins. The infected plants still are excessively and are dwarfed. As the disease advances, the streaks turn brown and the leaves shred at the tips only. But shredding is not as prominent as in Jouar. In affected plants, ears fail to form or if formed, they are completely or partially malformed into twisted green leafy structures. Hence the name green ear disease. The infection converts the various floral parts, including glooms, palea, stamens and pistil into green linear leafy structures of variable length. As the disease advances, the green leafy structures become brown and dry bearing masses of ospores. Ears malformed into green leafy structures. Pathogen the mycelium is systemic, non-septate and intercellular in the parenchymatous tissues. Short, stout, hyaline sporangiophores arise through stomata and branch irregularly to produce sterigmata bearing the sporangia. Sporangia are hyaline, thin-walled and elliptical, and bear prominent papilla. Ospores are round in shape, surrounded by a smooth, thick and yellowish-brown wall. Disease cycle The ospores remain viable in soil for five years or longer giving rise to the primary infection on the host seedling. Ospores attached to the seed also cause primary and systemic infection of seedlings. Secondary spread is through sporangia, which are active 31. During rainy season, disseminated by air and water. Secondary infection may not develop into systemic infection, but leads to local infection. The pathogen readily infects Teosinthe, Euclina mexicana, and Sateria italica. Favorable conditions formation of sporangiophores and sporangia is favored by very high humidity, 90%. Presence of water on the leaves and low temperature of 15 to 25 oak. Management 3 quarters selection of seed from healthy crop 3 quarters collect diseased plants, especially before ospores are formed, and burn them 3 quarters summer deep plowing 3 quarters rogue out infected plants. 3 quarters prolonged crop rotation 3 quarters grow resistant varieties like WCC 75, PHB 10, ICMH 451, ICTP 8203, Mallikarjun, HB 1, HB 5 and PHB 1 4 and 3 quarters grow tolerant varieties like MBH 118, CM 46, Balaji Composite, Nagarjuna Composite, Vishakha Composite, 
न्यू विजया कॉम्पोजाइट आर बी एस टू एच थ्री क्वार्टर्स ट्रीट द सीड्स विद मेटेलैक्स सॉइल एप्रिम तीन पांच एस डी एट सिक्स ग्राम पर किलोग्राम और टी राम और कप्तान एट फोर ग्राम पर किलोग्राम थ्री क्वार्टर स्प्रे मनकोज एव एट जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट और मेटेलैक्स सॉइल रिडोमिल एम जेड एट जीरो पॉइंट टू परसेंट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम थर्टी डेज आफ्टर सोइंग इन द फील्ड रस्ट पचीनियर पेनस्टी अकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस रस्ट अकर्स इन ऑल बाजरा ग्रोइंग एरियाज सिम्टम्स सिम्टम्स फर्स्ट अपेयर मोस्टली ऑन लोअर लीव्स एज मिनिट राउंड रेस्ड रेडिश ब्राउन पस्चुल्स यूरीडोसरी अकर इन ग्रुप्स ऑन बोथ सर्फेसेज ऑफ लीफ एंड लीफ शीत द पस्चुल्स मे ऑल्सो बी फॉर्म्ड ऑन स्टेम एंड पेडिंकल्स dark brown to black teleospores are produced late in the season in the uridosri or teleotosori in severe infections whole leaf may wither completely presenting a scorched appearance to the field pathogen the rust is heteroecious the fungus has a long life cycle producing uridial and telial stages on bajra and ischial and pycnial stages on several species of solanum including brinjal solanum melangena oridospores are oval elliptic or piriform with four germ pores sparsely acanulated and pedicellate teliospores are dark brown in color two celled cylindrical to club shaped apex flattened broad at top and tapering towards base favorable conditions closer spacing presence of abundant brinjal plants and other species of solanum with s tobum s xanthocarpum and s pubescens s pandureform The uridial stage also occurs on the species of Penicetum including P. Leonis P. Purpurum P. Oriental P. Spicatum and P. Polystachyon. But this disease cycle primary infection is from the alternate host Brinjal in nature. Secondary spread is through wind-borne oridospores. The uridial stages also occur on several species of Penicetum. Management: three quarters removal and destruction of alternate hosts. Three quarters spray thrice at 15 days interval with wettable sulfur at 0.3 percent or mancozeb at 0.2 percent, starting from 21 days after planting. Three quarters grow resistant varieties like RT 814 to three. PT eight two six quarters, PT eight two nine fifths H. Ergot or sugary disease, Claviceps fusiformis or C. Microcephala. Economic importance during nineteen sixty seven to seventy eight, the disease broke out in epidemic proportions on newly introduced hybrid bajra varieties. On HB1 and HB2 hybrids, the disease occurred in epidemic form and caused 25% losses in grain yield in Bagalkot, Belgaum, and Bijapur areas of Karnataka. In severe infections, 41 to 70% yield losses are also reported. Symptoms: The symptom is seen by exudation of small droplets of light pinkish or brownish sticky fluid. honey dew from the infected spikelets under severe infection many such spikelets exude plenty of honey dew which trickles along the ear head onto the upper leaves making them sticky this attracts several insects in the later stages the infected ovary turns into small dark brown sclerotial bodies larger than the seed and with a pointed apex which protrude from the florets in place of grain 
pathogen the fungus attacks the ovary and grows profusely producing masses of hyphae which form sclerotial bodies. The pathogen produces septate mycelium which produces conidiophores which are closely arranged. Conidia are hyaline and one-celled. The sclerotia are small and dark grey but white inside. Sclerotia are 3 to 8 mm long and 0.3 to 15 mm broad. Disease cycle sclerotia are viable in soil for 6 to 8 months. The primary infection takes place by germinating sclerotia present in the soil. Secondary spread is by insects or airborne conidia and ascospores. The role of collateral hosts like Saintress ciliaris and C. Cetigerous in perpetuation of fungus is significant. The fungus also infects other species of Penacetum. Favorable conditions flowers are susceptible to the infection only after stigma emergence and before pollination and fertilization. Overcast sky, drizzling rain with a temperature of 20 to 300 C during flowering period, favor the disease development. Management three quarters adjust the sowing date so that the crop does not flower during September when high rainfall and high relative humidity favor the disease spread. Three quarters immerse the seeds in 10% common salt solution and remove the floating sclerotia. Three quarters eradication of collateral hosts 33. Three quarters grow resistant varieties like PHB 10, 14. Co 2, 3 and Bajra 24. Three quarters spray with Zirim at 0.2% or Carbendazim at 0.1% or Mancozeb at 0.2% at boot leaf and flowering stage. Smart. Tolyposporium penicillaria. Symptoms Symptoms of the disease become apparent at the time of grain setting. The pathogen infects few florets and transforms them into large oval shaped sacs, sorry, containing black powder, smut spores. Initially the sori are larger and greener than normal healthy grains and when the sori mature they become dark brown and are easily broken and release millions of black smut spore balls. Pathogen the fungus infects developing flowers and the mycelium aggravates in the ovary and rounds off into chlamydospores. Meanwhile, a wall partly of host and partly of fungus tissues forms into a sorus. The fungus is mostly confined to the sorus. The sori contains spores which are usually in balls and are not easy to separate. No columella is present. Each spore is angular to round and light brown colored with a rough wall. The spores germinate to produce four-celled promycelium on which the sporidia are formed. Disease cycle it survives as spore balls in the seed and soil and serves as primary source of inoculum. The airborne spores germinate to produce the sporidia that enter the spikelets and infect the ovary. The secondary spread is through wind-borne chlamydospores. Favorable conditions spikelets are mostly susceptible before stigma and anthers come out. High humidity and successive cropping with bajra is conducive for disease occurrence. Management 3 quarters removal and destruction of affected airheads 3 quarters seed treatment with tiram or kaptan at 3 grams per kilogram seed 3 quarters grow resistant varieties like DC7, MPP7131 and MPP7108. 3 quarters spray carboxen or zinab at 0.2% 34. 